Hey guys, well I'm making a little video outside of the barn because I'm on my way to the junkyard right now where I'm buying the 88 International School Bus from and I'm probably not going to pick it up for another week or so, something like that. Got some stuff I need to get ready first, but it's uh, it's a beautiful day in Michigan right now. It is 71 degrees. Oh, my truck just dropped a degree. One way or the other. It's 70 degrees in Michigan in early March. And that's awesome. And it hasn't rained for a number of days, or snowed for that matter. So it's about as dry as we're gonna get probably for the next month, month and a half. So the owner of the junkyard recommended that maybe I get out there today. It's supposed to rain a little bit tonight and tomorrow. Um, get out there and get this thing fired up and moved out of the back of the yard where it's at and uh, get it get it up front so that way when I when I'm ready to pick it up all I gotta do is go and turn the key and hand them the cash and go so I've got a couple of group 31 brand new group 31s in the back of the truck here and uh, we're gonna get this thing hopefully fired up so no guarantees because I'm going to be trying to get it worked on and he's going to be there maybe with his loader if we got to pull it out of some spots whatever we'll see how this goes but we'll try to get a little bit of video for you at the very least we'll get a get a couple still shots of the or some quick video of the bus itself so hang tight and let's go play with school buses all right guys well we're headed back here through the yard there's a, I just went through a pretty damn muddy spot that I don't know how that bus is going to make it through. But right now I'm on some good high ground. So it looks like there's another hole up here. And off on the far left side of the screen there, you can see the old bus. So I'm going to, oh, this isn't too bad, I guess. We'll see what happens here. Oh, yeah, it's soft. Let's ease over here. So we'll get truck over here so we get these batteries unloaded and then I'll uh, show you what we're looking at. So here's what we got guys. Sorry it's a little bit windy here. It's our 88 S series Thomas built bus. It does have 11 r 225 so I might have to take JC Smith up on his offer for some some 10 R's that I'd like to have but you know not much to it. It's a school bus. So I'll turn that key off so we get the batteries in here. But a bunch of seats I don't need, but look at all that storage. So much room for activities. So let's get the uh, let's get this put up. There's what we got. There's our little DT360 International. So get some batteries in and see what we can make happen. All right, she's gonna run. Alright guys, well, we got it started and it wouldn't build any air pressure, but as you just heard, it's building now. First I found the leak at the governor, and then I couldn't get the caging bolts out of the cans. But a little tapping on the governor did the trick. We got 120 pounds built up now, so 
I'm pretty sure it's not gonna move from where I'm sitting, but if it does, we're probably gonna get stuck shortly thereafter. So let's see what happens. a no-go on getting her to move it uh that bus wouldn't even climb out of the, the tire rut it's in right now um and it's just not worth it with as muzzy muddy as it is we're gonna uh wayne's the guy at the junkyard there all we're gonna do is tear up his whole yard and probably get his loader stock and my truck stock along with the bus and you know i'm not trying to pick it up today anyway so the good news is you know we got the governor freed up and she built air pressure. She runs great, fires right up. I mean, plus is, and I know that because it spun the tires, I know we got a good drive line. Transmission's at least good enough to get through first gear and get us home. So we're okay, you know. So um, with that being said, it's 4.30. I'm not gonna drive the 25 minutes it is back to work, because that's just silly. So instead, a little dirt road cruise in here back to the house and uh, I'm up by my house right now going over some serious bumps that 450s don't uh, have the best of rides if you know what I mean but uh, anyway I've got a fancy special treat in the back of the truck here uh, if you can even see me with that shaking um, I got a new hitch for my truck and I'm pretty pumped what happened was uh, I'll do a little fancy little YouTube style unboxing when uh, when we get to the house but uh, basically what happened is uh, I bought I've got two new trucks I bought for work uh, first one I ordered back in December and that is a uh, 2021 f550 uh, it's got the extra payload package didn't go for the f600 but but did the f550 with the payload package so it gives us a 19,500 GBW uh, it's got a nine foot uh, steel dump on it and an iPack toolbox. It's a base truck, two wheel drive. We're, we're trying to get out of plowing snow. If I can have my way about it. And uh, so I don't need four wheel drive. I don't need the maintenance. I don't need the extra weight. I don't need the hassle. Um, and it's got, uh, what I'm excited about it is it's got the new 7.3 gas in it um, because I don't buy diesels for crew trucks. So. Anyway, got that truck ordered. That's at the body company that came in about two, three weeks ago from Ford. Um, it's at the body company right now getting upfitted. And then when we realized we needed another truck for another crew, we uh, and couldn't find the pickup we were looking for. So I ended up buying off the lot, bought a 2021 F-250 um, four wheel drive, which I didn't want, but beggars can't be choosers. Uh, with the way trucks are right now, you, you take what you can get because right now um, Ford to my knowledge is running somewhere around 16 to 18 weeks on new orders and now they're done taking orders on 2020s um, you have to get a 2020 or I'm sorry done taking orders on 2021s so you have to take a 2022 and they don't even have specs out on 22s yet so um, Jesus Christ we got some bumps so anyway uh, that was a no-go so and when you're looking for black regular cab long box two-wheel drive f-350 you're not finding that truck those are those are those are non-existent unless you special order them so anyway the point of this whole story is that 2021 has the two and a half inch uh receiver hitch on the back my truck old nancy here because it's an f-450 
has the three inch, um, the 20, I think it's a 21,000 pound bumper hitch. Um, and so when I, when I got this truck a couple years ago, I, I didn't want to shell out the money for a fancy hitch. Um, so I went with a, what we usually get is a, you know, a, a pinnel receiver plate and a, uh, a pinnel, the two and five sixteenths combination ball pinnel. So we can pull pinnel trailers and ball, our two and five sixteenths ball trailers. So now that I got this 21, I'm going to take that hitch. I just put a new ball on it because I stretched it out. Um, I'm going to take that hitch, put it on the 21 because it's, you know, two and a half inch insert, two and a half inch receiver, no sleeves necessary, fits right in. And I ordered myself what we're going to unbox. And it's pretty sweet. It's pretty freaking heavy too. And it's really expensive. But it's going to it's gonna save me some time. Um, and I'll, I'll get to it. But basically it's a good product. It's a really good company. I'm, I'm really impressed with the stuff they're putting out. So we'll go through that. Um, and uh, yeah, so stay tuned. I'll be home in about two minutes here. And we'll get going. All right, guys. So we're home. I'm going to get this thing taken out of here. We're going to have to... Jeez, did I bend that thing already? Good Lord. I don't make these hitch pins. This is this was brand new. I can't remember what I tried to pull out, though, since then. It wasn't much. Good Lord, it is already bent. Man, I'm getting a locking one once they come in. Based on this unboxing we're going to do. And this is why I hate these, because... Even and I have, I have uh, fluid film coating every surface of these, and they still seize up. Third time's a charm. Yep. Hmm. The sleeve's still stuck. Feels like it's actually got a burr. Let's see, can we see in there? Hmm. Well, let's try to pry that out. Now, let's see what we got here. Alright. Well, I gave it away. You saw what that is. Well, I guess now you know. So, I'm gonna tell you, this is a ridiculously heavy box. Oh, that's some fancy stickers. I'm not gonna use those. I'm gonna set this camera down. Hold on. All right, guys. So we got this thing out of the box. So, so I'll show you. So this is a combination hitch. So I've got two inch for my boat that I can drop down, and I have two and five sixteenths for my ball hitch trailers at work. And then I have the pinnel latch for my one pinnel trailer. And as you can see, that is that big monster solid shank three inch hitch now this hitch is rated this would be something you would probably put on like a you know f450 550 uh or a dump truck you know a medium duty uh 5500 you know ram something like that because this hitch is rated for 32,500 pounds so way more than i'm ever put on the bumper of this truck but it was the only way I could get, you get that as soon as you go up to the three inch shank, that's what you get. And I wanted this offset drop because I don't need a full drop because for my pinnel hitch trailers at work, like while my pinnel and my ball, this is where I need these things to be. That is almost identical. I'll show you here. If we prepare it, I think it's got to weigh 200 pounds, I swear. If we compare it, if we line up, you know, there's no good way to do this, but if we line up those shanks real close, you know, you can see if you compare it to this tailgate line where 
now. Let's do this the legit way. So if we line that hitch up, and then we line that up, you can see we're lined up there. And I'm up, oh, I'd call that two and a half inches above that line, so above the top of my shank. File that across here on my old one. It's not quite as high, but it's close. You know, we're, we're probably an inch and a half. I'm probably gaining an inch, so which is fine because the trailers will, when they squat, will squat the truck down, will sit maybe still slightly nose high, barely, or perfectly level. So, uh, but what it lets me do, so we're out with the old here. What it lets me do is then when I want to tow the boat, which I need a two inch on a pretty heavy drop, I can do that and not change hitches out. And I can put, you know, a bunch of fluid film on this to keep it lubricated and put my locking pin through and we're done. So let's get this thing installed, see what it looks like. I'm excited. All right guys, so you can see just how beefy this hitch is. Switch modes on the camera there. Man, this thing's gonna give me some weight in the winter time. I don't even need four wheel drive anymore. So um, you can see what we got was this GH2024, this is the Mega Duty uh, offset, VersaBall and Pintle, six inch drop, three inch shank, three and a half thousand pound tongue weight, 32,000 pound tow capacity. So um, what I found is that I had to use, they give you two holes. One looks like it's probably like a 9 16 or a 5 8 uh, The other one's probably a half or 9 16 whatever. But anyway, I had to use the bigger rear hole, even though I could use, whoop, could use the other one. Uh, but because my pin is bent, I can't. So we're gonna leave it there for now. And then once I get my new locking pin, we'll adjust all that. So, but, uh, so this is how I'll use it. You know, I didn't put these fancy stainless steel pins in yet, but um, this is how I'll use it at work. So we'll have, if we need the panel, you know, we'll move that pin to the outer position right there. If we're just pulling a ball hitch, pull the pin and drop it back there. That way you can drop your ball on. Um, and then uh, if we want to tow the boat, sorry, I could back up here, I suppose. Let's do that. Let's go back to our, our other view. Sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed and this thing probably weighs 60 pounds. Um, so we'll be there when we pull the Mastercraft. So I love this thing. It's awesome. So I'm going to get it pinned in here real quick and do a final. There we go. She's all installed. I did uh, have to pound out that sleeve and do a little filing. on. Uh, that's why you shouldn't try to pull out... Uh, gravel train leads with F450s because I rounded out that hole a little bit and squeezed the inside of the the hitch a little bit so I had to file down just slightly I mean not much barely but anyway trust me that's why you don't want to do that but anyway that looks tough and then the reason I knew I like this product is because if you look over here on my fifth wheel um, I upgraded because we made a trip down to oh, southern Georgia in the summer and then we took a went to Florida for Christmas and then this summer we're going to Texas for a couple weeks back to the we're gonna be in the Keys for Christmas so I was not after the trip to Georgia I was not going to deal with the chucking and bucking of the stupid fifth wheel hitch plus you know I got this gooseneck trailer on order I don't want to have to take my big old heavy you know 16k hitch in and out of the back of my truck so um, went with this uh, Gen Y just like the insert I just did and this is the executive um, it's got torsion suspension and it is awesome um, just rides like a dream and this thing is stout um, really super impressed with it I got the um, auto latch feature so you don't have to climb in the bed to uh, to drop a pin through you know it's got the spring latch the only complaint I have about the whole setup is that because these new fifth wheels are so fancy and my auto leveling aka my jack switch is inside this front compartment and you can see my hand is touching this you can see how far away I am and that cable hanging right there is the release so really to get the uh, the hitch to release is a two-person deal not a huge one I've also found that if I lift it to that perfect sweet spot lift those jacks up then and there's a little bit of tension on that I can then walk up pull the cable and it'll pop off the hitch ball uh, in the bed of the truck so you can do it with one person it's easier when my wife helps me but at any rate um you know that lets me have 
bed to work in. And I don't have to have a fifth wheel hitch that takes up the entire bed. So anyway, guys, uh, that's where we stand. So fun little different video today, the bus hitch. And uh, I think I'm going to go pick up my kids and hang out for the night. Hope you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching.